The small sticker Will Wingfield is holding. This is uh, uh, available for free, one per registered vehicle. Plays a big role in the Louisville Southern Indiana Ohio River Bridges project. It's a Riverlink local transponder, one of two devices helping make the boothless, stopless electronic tolling system hopefully flawless. The local transponder will only work, as its name implies, locally. The two I-65 bridges, the Abraham Lincoln and the Kennedy Memorial, as well as State Road 265, the East End Bridge. If you cover more road than that, the Riverlink Easy Pass transponder is an option. So if you're driving on the Indiana Toll Road, the Illinois Tollway System, the West Virginia Turnpike, this is the, uh, the, the system that uh, will help you there. The Easy Pass transponder will be your way to pay for tolls in 16 states. You can move it from car to car. Both transponders allow you to manage your account online. You need $20 to set up your account. That money will be used to pay for your tolls. If you cross the bridges 40 times in a month, you'll save a few bucks. Riverlink will credit $40 to your account to make the effective rate that you were paying $1 per crossing. There are also options for businesses with several vehicles using the bridges each day. Businesses will be connected with a specialized customer service representative. Arrangements will be made to exchange fleet information and we will make the process as easy as possible. If you don't get a transponder, a camera will snap a picture of your license plate number. Then you'll get a bill in the mail. It will cost you more money because it's more work. Researching the license plate information, mailing bills, things of that nature. You can set up your accounts and pick up your transponders a week from today. You can do it at customer service centers or online. Those customer service centers are in Louisville and Jeffersonville. You have to have $20 in your account to start it up. When that money gets low, you can either have it so it takes money automatically out of your bank account or credit card, or you'll get a notice in the mail letting you know. Reporting at the waterfront, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.